All right, hello again. Um, I'm here today to talk about my Insta 360 One RS, right? As you can see, this is One RS. Uh, one of the guys out from uh, out in Vancouver, uh, Lone Ranger Ryan, did a review back in uh, I think it was early March where he said that he really liked the performance of this camera. He had a One R and it did a lot of the stuff that he wanted. But with the 1RS they enhanced it slightly. Not having a 1R myself, I couldn't tell you. I have nothing to compare. But I ordered one of these, the uh, the kit that comes with the 4K boost lens and the 360 lens. Um, basically this camera fits in this little case. You know, you the case is what keeps the camera together. So this is what holds it nice and tight. Um, this is the battery mod, or the battery. One of these, right, sits in the bottom and you put the camera together like this and you can actually reverse the direction of the camera so if you want to have your selfies you can see yourself and if you want to just have it as a regular uh, uh, POV camera and that's it that's that's how it goes together right the 360 lens is the same thing basically you oops it's gonna start recording yep see look push the button once you got it set up Will it start? Yes, it starts. So there you go. Anyway, all the particulars about this camera. Yeah, see, starts recording. Very nice. Okay, thank you very much, camera. Now, what's really important about this camera is that it lives. It's got to live inside this case. There's a couple of reasons. This is a heat sink that helps keep the camera cool. It's also a containment case that helps keep the camera together because this camera is supposed to be waterproof to a certain depth or very water resistant. Now, as you know. You've seen a lot of my footage with the 360 lens and can you guess what's missing from here? I'm very sad. Um, I got this on March, April 1st and I started hitting it right away, experimenting with how it works, trying to figure out what the, the, the 360 lens does. Um, the 4K boost lens, great. Turn it upside down, put it on my chesty and I'm good to go. The, uh, the 360 lens basically has a lens in front and the back and I mount it on my camera or on a selfie stick Sorry, I mount it on my helmet helmet um, And on a selfie stick Directly and you actually go invisible. So don't don't tilt your camera like this Keep it straight and with the 360 lens you can hold it in any orientation you get everything now Sometime it is now uh, May 27th Sometime in the beginning of last weekend, I uh, did a, a, a video shoot and when I was reviewing the footage, I noticed that there was a blur. So the idea, if you think of the 360 lens like this, it's just a big ball. And what I noticed is that in 90 degrees on one corner, that whole sweep was blurry. And I thought maybe the lens was dirty, so I cleaned it. No matter how you turn the camera, that it's not the camera it's something with the lens because that that blur blur, blur 90 degree section of the circle and it starts at the top goes all the way to the bottom so no matter how you tilt your view it it follows it so I reached out to Insta 360 I had the Insta 360 care that you can buy as extra where they give you one free replacement it took them about a week I sent them a bunch of files for them to review and they think that there's a bigger problem with the 360 lens so they're looking into it I've had to send it back to Hong Kong. Now, this is another important thing you gotta know when you're buying this camera. So if you're gonna spend 800 Canadian, and then you get the Insta360 care, which is, that's including the price, I paid extra 40, 50 bucks. Um, there is no Canadian support. And the US support can only support American customers. So as a Canadian, I have to ship my lens all the way back to Hong Kong, which is gonna take till June 15th. I used a uh, expedited kind of post. I've got a special business deal with them, so I get slightly cheaper shipping and, and slightly faster rate because I get bumped up to the next fastest shipping. But anyway, um, but it cost me 50 bucks. So even if they look at it and essentially they're going to look at it and say, yeah, there's something wrong with this and they send me a new lens, my problem is, um, you know, they're going to pay for it, send it via FedEx. I'm out. I'll be lucky and it takes another five to ten days for them to look at it I'm gonna have no lens for all of 
the rest of May and essentially June. So that's sad. Um, what a, <clears throat> one of the things I like about the 360 lens is simply the fact that you have multiple takes on one pass because you can get so many different views that you can you can you know record yourself heading forward. Okay. But you can look down, you can look at people following you, you can look at things happening off to your side without having to do it over and over. Okay. Um, the one thing that this thing also does is I don't like the uh, phone well, app. It's too fiddly, afternoon. too much messing around. I do like the desktop app, but I will guarantee you, if you have a video editor using the Insta360 app, it takes a bit of learning to understand how to use it. The sound um, is great, yeah. but wind noise Whoa, reduction gotcha. is not so good. Well uh, even with their foam dampers in this special case, there's one that hides up here on this microphone because there's more of them down here. Um, it just, they've got wind reduction in the camera, but they've also got something called voice focus and a noise reduction in the app. The voice focus really does nothing and the, the the noise reduction in the app makes the entire audio sound dead like you you got your head inside a, a giant sound one of these sound deadening rooms right with all the foam so that doesn't really work well but that app is amazing uh but it takes is a, is a learning curve and it's pretty steep if you really want i can do a a quick video on some of the things i i picked up on it and how how i figured out how to use it for pov video but otherwise you know, great camera, the 1X, I think it's the 1X is a nice camera as well. One of the guys here has reported that he had a scratch that turned into a crack. Um, I don't know what to say. I, I just find it a bit difficult to swallow that. You know, something as expensive as this needs to be sent back to Hong Kong that they won't set up a, uh, an American service center to deal with them. I mean, we're right there. I could drive it there faster. You know what I mean? So, so far, Pros, uh, really good 360, really good 4K boost. Um, the imagery is fantastic. Um, the the editing tool is really nice. Um, uh, the battery, the, the assembly, the way you switch out batteries really quickly. Oh, that's the other thing. Sorry, I forgot one more thing. I bought two extra batteries because this only lasts me about an hour, maybe at best 70 minutes if I run it full, full on. And just ride so if I go out on a three hour ride I need three batteries the batteries are reasonable 60 bucks maybe but the shipping is came up to buy two new batteries was 50 bucks and that was steep and they shipped it here from Hong Kong it took a month and it got turned around in, in, at, in, at, the, at the border in Canada because they weren't labeled properly so they went all the way back to China or Hong Kong to then be turned around and shipped back to me and nobody at Insta360 thought to send me an email. That, that's poor customer service, right? That's just not right. So they need to work on that a bit. Um, the camera is heavy, I will say that. It's a lot heavier than the other cameras I have. Um, it's even heavier than a GoPro Hero 9. Um, this little charge port here is a bit fiddly when you open it up. It's hard to get out unless you've got fingernails. And when you do get it out, see, I find it really difficult to pop this out of its holder. Anyway, I'm not even gonna try. There's a no, I am. There you go. This little connector thingy has a little pointy end, and this will pop out. Just make sure you see where it goes, because all you have to do is just push it back in, and it and it refills the hole. And this has got to be closed to maintain that waterproof integrity. So yes, if they had a spare 360 lens that didn't cost 450 bucks like they do on Amazon, because obviously somebody on Amazon, I think they sell through Amazon in the US, is trying to rip people off down there in my opinion. Um, I would suggest having a spare 360 lens and the, the Insta360 Care, I'm still not sure how it works because I don't know whether they're repairing it under warranty or whether they're going to repair it under the Care. I'm confused. I couldn't get a straight answer. I guess they want to see what's wrong with it first. But, uh, you know, you want to get into 360 type video stuff in your house, uh, action, whatever, just doing interviews with people. Um, you may want to get a Rode or some kind of external clip-on microphone for a other party because I've noticed that depending on the orientation, 
of the camera, the uh, the pickup audio pickup can be less than stellar for somebody else who's talking maybe five six feet away from me. And that's my review. Um, yep, yeah, forty eight megapixels. That's pretty good. So yeah, that's if you want one of these. There's some links. Um, there's some affiliate links down in the description. Um, it would help the channel, you know, if you're thinking of buying any of them. I've, you know, I've listed a bunch of them. Some of the accessories, we get a small percentage. It helps us helps us pay for stuff like this because this was a this was a leap of faith. Um, and I gotta say, it's a product itself. What it gives you is really good. I'm still unsure about. Let's see if uh, the, the support guys come through because it it's tough. I've had gone through some trees with it, and it just no issues. The lenses are really good. Um, they took a licking. I don't know what went wrong on this one. Who knows? As always, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching. Suggestions. If you guys have any comments or questions, put them down below. And I'll see you later. Stress less, ride more. Ride smart, ride safe. Take care.